My name is Lisa, and I am an employee at a general corporation. I have a boyfriend named Yuta. We met through work, and I was drawn to Yuta's sociable and kind personality, which led to us dating. Our relationship has been going well, and he has proposed to me, we are getting married next month. Because of this, I will be going to greet his mother, who lives alone in his family home. Nice to meet you, I'm Lisa. This is just a small token of appreciation. Oh, that's fine, really. To think you could be deceived by someone like this. What, what are you saying, mom? Nothing, I'm just stating the facts. I oppose this marriage, goodbye. Oh, I can't believe it. She just dismissed us at the door. I thought she might oppose. Maybe because she divorced and raised me alone. She always opposes whatever I do. I see. It seems like she doesn't like me. I'm sorry, Yuta. What are you talking about? That's just how mom is. All right, let's be happy together and prove her wrong. I had heard from Yuta that his mother was difficult to deal with, but I never expected to be turned away like that. I was really shocked. However, I was encouraged by Yuta's words, and I decided we would prove her wrong together. A year after this incident. Hey, Yuta, next year, we're going to be a mom and a dad. Ed, does that mean, Ed, really? Wow, yes, Lisa, our own child. Yuta, you're too happy. After finding out I was pregnant, I shared the news with Yuta. Yuta was more delighted than I could have imagined, and seeing his reaction made me even happier. Although we haven't met his mother since we went to greet her after our engagement, Yuta has been keeping in touch regularly. So, I thought surely his mother must be surprised by how happily we are living. Several months passed, and as I quit my job to prepare for the birth and became a full-time homemaker. I'm going out for a bit. I'll be late, so I'm going to stay at my parents' house tonight. Again? You've been coming home late a lot recently. Unlike you, I'm working, so I'm busy. Still, I'm making an effort because you're pregnant, right? Show some gratitude, will you? Wait a minute. Lately, the days when Yuta comes home late have increased, and he started going out alone even on holidays. While I had some suspicions about Yuta, I tried not to worry too much, thinking of our baby in my belly. A month later, I safely gave birth to a healthy baby girl, whom we named Madison. While I felt happy, Yuta's attitude remained unchanged, he didn't help at all with the childcare. Wash! What's wrong, Madison? Let's try to sleep, okay? Lisa, the night crying is too loud, I'm going to stay at my parents' house. What? Wait a minute. Yuta, you should help with the childcare too. It's our child, right? I know, but I have work and I can afford to be sleep deprived, right? Yuta. Oh, he's gone again. Yuta's overly free actions and attitude were causing me a lot of stress and exhaustion. Then, one day, suddenly the doorbell rang, and when I went to the door, what? Mother-in-law. Oh, it's been a while. You probably know. Yuta isn't here, he's staying at his parents' house. I know that. I'm coming in for a bit. What? Wait, please wait a moment. After more than a year of not seeing each other, my mother-in-law suddenly showed up at our house. Ignoring my surprise, she barged into the house and... I came to harass you since Yuta isn't here. Harass, me? Is that child my grandchild? Let me hold her for a moment. Wait, just a minute. Goodness, what's with this room? It's all Yuta's clothes. Such a mess. That is. I was just about to start cleaning up. No excuses. A useless daughter-in-law like you should just sit quietly over there. Mother-in-law? What exactly are you? Quiet. You're distracting me. Go to the bedroom or something. You're just in the way here. But... Are you trying to defy me, your mother-in-law? I didn't mean to defy. Then you better quietly listen to what I, who am far superior to you, am saying. But, the room isn't clean enough to welcome guests. Quiet. Listen here, don't you dare step out of the bedroom until I say it's okay. Understand. But, maybe I could get some tea or something? I didn't come here to drink tea. Just go away. It's much better if a useless daughter-in-law like you is sleeping rather than standing by my side. While soothing Madison, my mother-in-law was briskly tidying up the room. While surprised at her actions, I was relieved to see Madison smiling happily. Seeing this, I decided to go forward with a certain plan. 
A month later. I went to the living room to talk with Yuda, who had returned home late at night, after checking on Madison sleeping in her crib. What's up? You shouldn't be waiting up. It's annoying. Hey, Yuda. Are you staying at your parents' house again tonight? Yeah, so, mom said, with a daughter-in-law like you, he can't relax at home, so he should come over anytime. Since mom's been so welcoming, I stay over whenever I feel like it. When did I ever say that? Stop lying. Oh, why is mom here at our house? Is it inconvenient for you if I'm here? Lying so casually to Lisa, even with a baby around, that's just unthinkable. But this situation is all because of you, Lisa, being such a sloppy wife. Heck. What's that? Am I wrong? No, that's right. It's all Lisa's fault that I turned out like this. Is it really all my fault? Of course it is. I'm sick of just taking care of the baby and Lisa all the time, that's why I don't come home. Heck. If it's that bad, you should just get a divorce. It's only going to make you miserable staying together. Look, here's a divorce paper. I got it for you to instead. Mom, how well prepared. As expected, Lisa, watch closely. I'm going to sign this divorce paper right in front of you. Saying that, Yuda signed the divorce papers without any hesitation and handed them to me with a smug look. Upon receiving the divorce papers, I said, Thank you, Yuda. I'll take good care of Madison and raise her responsibly, so don't worry. Thank you, Lisa. Why are you happy about this? I'm just so happy thinking about divorcing you. I don't need a cheating husband. Lisa's right, you know. Lying about staying at your parents' house. You have such a cute daughter and yet what are you doing, my foolish son? Her? What do you mean? Mom, you're on my side, right? Idiot, I can't stand hearing that. I've been on Lisa's side from the start. Earlier, you said divorce so you won't be unhappy. It's not you to who would be unhappy. I said that Lisa should divorce to avoid being unhappy. Her? So you two were in this together. We just planned this together. That's still deceiving me, isn't it? That's messed up. That's my line. I won't forgive you for not coming home and cheating. I didn't cheat. I was just at my parents' house. You never stayed at my house. Don't think that excuse will work in front of me. Hey, yeah, hey, I cheated. But it's only natural since Madison comes first, right? Of course a mother prioritizes her child. A father needs to have some awareness, too. That's not true. I just created an environment where Lisa could perfectly manage the household alone. Created it? Who do you think you are? Lisa is a fine mother even without Uter. Shut up, Mom. You're acting high and mighty without doing anything. What are you talking about? Mother-in-law has been coming every day to help me out. I don't care anymore. Fine. I'll divorce you and be happy with the lovely Kana. Lovely? I think Lisa is a hundred times cuter than her. Hey, what do you mean by that? While I, my mother-in-law, and Yuta were talking, two people arrived. Those people were. Why are Noah and Kana here together? I called them. My mother-in-law told me that Noah is a lawyer. We consulted with him together after discussing with my mother-in-law. Since my younger son is a lawyer, there's no reason not to rely on him. Wait, Yuda, what's all this about? I thought he was handsome and let my guard down, then got dragged here. What a woman, really. Well, the cheating man and a frivolous woman are a good match. Hey, who are you? I'm Yuda's mom. Thick-skinned and heavy makeup, I can hardly stand to look. What did you say? All right, let's not cause a scene. It's bothersome in many ways. Mom, you were on my side until now. Why did you switch sides to Lisa? Even when we went to greet you for our marriage, you rejected our gifts and turned us away. I opposed it because I thought Yuta would make Lisa unhappy. But in the end, I couldn't stop the marriage. So I have my part of the blame. I'm sorry, Lisa. Mother-in-law. Don't mess around, you all, doing all this unnecessary stuff. It's amazing how you can act like this in front of a liar, big bro. Even if he's your brother, having a lawyer here is dangerous, right? This is a total mess. Don't laugh. It's your fault for being brought here so easily. Now I'm in a really bad situation. There's no way out for me. There's no escape for you. Like, trying to escape in this situation, Yuda, isn't that crazy? It's obviously impossible. You're seriously making me laugh. Kana, Yuda's affair partner, laughed at Yuda's desperate flailing. Yuda, infuriated by this, said, Hey, what's with you, Kana? 
You knew I was married and still messed around with me. You're in the same boat here. Don't laugh it off so carelessly. I don't have to deal with messy divorces like you da, so I guess my sins are lighter, right? Stop being so carefree. Things are messed up because Khan is stupid. Did you just call me stupid? You're just taking your frustrations out on me because you're at a disadvantage. Enough already. Eek. What's your deal, Noah? Just because you're a slightly competent lawyer, do you think you can lecture your older brother like that? Don't talk nonsense. I'm not here as your brother. I'm here as a lawyer hired by Lisa. I didn't come just to lecture. Really? You're more foolish than I thought. It's embarrassing. Yuda, it seems you haven't grasped the whole situation. I spoke with Noah and officially hired him to handle our divorce. You can't win once a lawyer gets involved. You had no chance of winning the moment you cheated. Brother, I hate to say this, but even if you were going to cheat, couldn't you have found someone else? Hey, you've been quite rude all this time. You're breaking up a family, so rudeness is the least of your problems. You really don't understand your position at all. Breaking up a family. That's so dramatic. Like we're supervillains or something. Don't you get that you're the bad guys for cheating? Well, it's fine. Yuda, and you too. I'll be claiming damages. And Yuda, there's also child support, so I'll have Noah talk to you properly about that. Fed up with Yuda and Kana's trivial complaints, I brought up the topic of damages. Upon hearing this, the two said, What damages? This whole situation is all Lisa's fault, isn't it? That's right. You left Yuda alone and only paid attention to the child. You were always so cold to Yuda, weren't you? I'm appalled. Were you lying to your affair partner to suit your convenience? Ha, huh, lying. Let me put it simply. Yuda was just jealous because he wasn't getting enough attention. And who was he jealous of? A baby. His own child. What? Then I was practically deceived. You knew he had a wife and child, right? So, you weren't deceived at all. Brother and you. I don't care if you fool around as much as you like. But as a lawyer, even if the opponent is my family, I'll give it my all. Well, considering the clear infidelity, it's only natural you'd pay damages. We were seriously in a relationship, so it's weird to call it infidelity, isn't it? Are you serious with that? Lisa, now that mom's on your side, you've gotten pretty bold, haven't you? So what? With mother-in-law here. I'm not afraid of anything. You neglected Madison, dragged mother-in-law into your lies. And you cheated for selfish reasons. I will never forgive any of it, ever. What's with you, Lisa, getting so angry all of a sudden? I am a mother. I have a duty to protect Madison. And I couldn't care less about a Yuda who won't even try to fulfill that duty. Yuda and you do. This is the strength of a mother. The strength that comes from the love for her child. There's no need to be lenient with people who don't even have a fraction of that. All the anger I had been holding back suddenly burst out. My mother-in-law, who understood my feelings, also scolded Yuda and Kana. Overwhelmed by our momentum, the two of them said, All right, then Kana and I will end our relationship right here, right now. Yes, that sounds good. Let's do that. It's too late to say anything now. You too, Lisa isn't looking for that anymore. I'm fed up with Yuda's stupidity. I'm cutting off parent-child ties. We're done, disowned. Disowned. I agree with mom. After this is all settled, I'll have nothing more to do with my brother. Wait, hold on, let's do this. I'll break up with Connor and start over with Lisa. I can't afford to pay damages. Let's forget about the divorce, right? Right. We'll break up cleanly, so cancel the damages claim, okay? I refuse. We've already signed the divorce papers and Noah, the lawyer, is here. Divorce, damages, child support. You will pay for everything properly. Lisa, don't be so mad. Reconsider I'll reflect on my actions. It's refreshing how insincere you sound. Please, I won't mess with your happiness anymore. It's not just a disturbance anymore. It's beyond repair. From now on, I'll take care of Lisa, Madison, and even Mom, please. Eck, no one here believes a word you say. Exactly. Experience for yourself the extent of what you've done. Afterwards, with the help of Noah, my divorce was finalized smoothly, and I was able to successfully claim damages from both Yuda and Kana. 
I also demanded and secured proper child support from Yuta. Yuta and Kana had to take on debt to pay the damages. Both had already spent too much on leisure activities and had no savings left. Since we divided the property as well, Yuta was left with absolutely no money. They incurred even more debt trying to cover living expenses, ultimately increasing their own burdens. Now, working part-time after their regular jobs and also on weekends, they have no time to rest. Thus, instead of finding happiness, Yuta and Kana lead a miserable life, overwhelmed by debts they are struggling to repay. As for me… Wow, a baby, she's so tiny. Oh Noah, have you never really looked at a baby before? Well, I mean, this is the first time I've seen one up close. She seems to have Lisa's features, doesn't she? Adada, apua. Oh, is that so? That's wonderful to hear. Eh, iki ik. She really is adorable. Lisa, thank you for making me a grandmother. Mother-in-law. I should be the one thanking you for all the help you've given. Sorry to interrupt this moment, but, Lisa, the diaper situation is quite something. Oh. I'll change it right now, hang on, Madison. My, my, she looks just like Noah did as a baby. Although I divorced Yuta, I was able to build a good relationship with my mother-in-law. She still visits Madison whenever our schedules align, and sometimes I take Madison to see her. Noah also comes to visit every time because he finds Madison adorable. I decided to raise Madison on my own, but I'm not afraid of anything. Maybe it's because my mother-in-law is there for us, or perhaps it's the strength of a mother. Probably both are reasons why I can stay strong. I will pour all my love into Madison and make her smile every day. Seeing Madison laugh happily surrounded by everyone, I strongly vow to myself to keep doing just that. If you enjoyed this video, we'd be thrilled if you subscribed to our channel. Subscribing means you'll receive notifications for new videos, keeping you in the loop with all our latest content. Your support is vital to our growth. Let's enjoy and grow together.